Hello, dear friends. It's so good to be back here again. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for all that you do right here. Remember, this is Saffron Media, and we are here to give you the best, the most trending, exciting, reliable, sizzling, and authentic happenings in Nigeria, especially in the area of politics, entertainment, and many more. So, guys, ensure that you are stay tuned, relax, enjoy. And also help us share our videos to your friends and your family. Yes, right here, it says that EU reports Nigeria to WTO. Over what exactly? Yes, we are here to find out in this very report. And I'm going to bring this to you shortly. But please, if you have not subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? Ensure you hit the subscribe button. And also give a video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get updated anytime we drop a new video. Yes, my dear friends, right here, yes, the EU, that is uh, the European Union, has written to WTO about Nigeria. What has Nigeria done again? Remember that the Director General of WTO is a Nigerian, that is Okonjo Iwiala and I guess that is the more reason they had to write this letter to the uh, WTO office. Anyway, let us dive right into the details of this report. As it says that the European Union has written a letter to the World Trade Organization to complain about the milk and dairy restriction policy of Nigeria. Director General World Trade Organization Ngozi Okonje Wiala disclosed this during her visit to the Central Bank of Nigeria on Tuesday in Abuja. CBN in July 2019 included milk and dairy products on its list of items not eligible for foreign exchange. This led to restriction in the importation of milk into Nigeria as the commodity was now grouped among agro products such as tomatoes, rice, and etc. Okonjo Iwiala told the Central Bank of Nigeria CBN that the WTO would look into the complaint presented to it by the EU, and she encouraged Nigeria to take advantage of global trade opportunities being a member of the WTO. Yes, like I said earlier, I think this was done because they believe that she is a Nigerian, and uh, really I don't see uh, why the EU is writing because any country can decide on whatever they feel is going to favor them especially now that Nigeria is doing a lot of funny stuff and uh, because a lot of things are already wrong so we even uh, most Nigerians do not even know what to say about Nigeria anymore because this letter that was written to the World Trade Organization is just a complaint about the milk and dairy restriction policy of Nigeria I don't know why they are restricting dairy products and yet my only problem really about Nigeria is that they don't produce enough and yet they refuse to import. Now they are saying they want Nigeria to be able to compete with other uh, bodies for them to, to be seen in the market. But you are not producing enough. Now in Nigeria, if we say it, it is only in Nigeria that you see that you see a situation whereby you buy imported product cheaper than the one that is being made in Nigeria. When you say a product should, Nigeria should not uh, uh, import a product, then if it should be made very much available in the country and it should be way cheaper, that everyone in the country would be in support of that decision that the government has made that, oh, this is not even, this is not a good step for us to even take to, you know, import some of these things. But it is so, 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 so fearful that most of the things that Nigerians refuse to import is more far expensive in Nigeria that is being made and produced than when it is being imported. These are some of the things that should be really looked into, because I don't see why you cannot, you, are, you cannot even produce what you are saying should not be imported. So is it that this government wants to put people in abject suffering that people will begin to, 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 to believe that they are in a prison? Because it now seems like it is a prison yard. People cannot get what they want. You produce a, a product that are counterfeit. We say there is NAVDAC in Nigeria, but the NAVDAC are not even working. You see a lot of uncompleted buildings where a lot of products are being produced. And in that process, a lot of these things are contaminated. That is why you see people, 
you see a lot of breakout of different kind of disease in Nigeria. The drug and law enforcement and whatever agency they have, they don't do their work thoroughly. If the EFCC can be corrupted, which other organization cannot be corrupted in Nigeria? Most of the organizations are corrupted. The government is corrupted. So I don't see any reason why this country should not import products anymore. The country is too weak not to import. That is my honest opinion. The country is too weak not to import a lot of good products. They cannot produce good products. Only very few products are genuine in Nigeria. Most of these things, you take them, you feel worse than when you were even sick. So really, it is not demeaning or making it look like Nigeria is bad. Nigeria is not bad. But the government is so corrupt that a lot of you know offices under the government are already corrupt. Imagine how EFCC became so corrupt. EFCC is supposed to be a crime fighter. They were supposed to fight crimes in the country. They are supposed to fight, you know, anyone that is trying to steal or do anything. But rather, they have been found wanting that they are the ones stealing. So when a thief catches a thief, who judges them? That is the truth. When a thief catches a thief, who judges? That is the situation of Nigeria. So saying that uh, you don't want to import a particular product and you cannot produce that very product in the country, then who are we fooling? Who are we fooling? The other time they said, okay, importation of rice is no longer allowed in Nigeria. You are not importing rice, but yet the kind of rice that were available in the country were full of stones, were full of a lot of different things. People ate rice and became, you know, they had different kind of diseases. So why are they saying things should not be important? You cannot produce rice. Imagine the hike in rice, in the price of rice. When, Nigerians, when, when Nigeria was importing rice, rice was about 7,000, 6,000 naira. And when Nigeria started producing rice, rice was 35,000, 40,000 naira. So does it really make sense? It doesn't make sense. So a lot of these things should really be looked into by this I cannot even say it should be looked into because the administration do not even care. This government do not care. So I cannot even say they should look into it. They do what they like and do whatever pleases them that will be beneficial to them and their families that will also heap their pockets. But all the same, I know God is watching because if it's for their own benefit, one of these days they are going to be totally destroyed and God will raise leaders that are after his heart for Nigeria because I know Nigeria will still be great again. So my dear people, that is it from here. Thank you so much for listening. Whatever you have to say about all of this, please drop it in the comment section and also give our videos a thumbs up. Thank you for being here. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.